Hi everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with hashtag What's Up Wednesday. This is hosted by um, T. Joe Creates. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's T. I. J. O. Creates, and I'll put that link below for her. And thank you very much for hosting. Um, I've decided I better get on because I haven't done really an update per se in a while. So I hope you don't mind my heater. It is cool to say the least. Um, it's, a, it's damp, I guess is better to, uh, it's a better description because it's, it's warm ish outside, but the, yeah, the dampness makes it a little bit harder to handle. So, um, I will update on books first because I've been, yeah, I'm way back there. So, the first book that I wanted to tell you about that I finished was All Things We, All the Things We Left and Leave Behind. And it's by Riel um, Nason, and I am very proud to say that she is a fellow. Uh, New Brunswick um, Canadian and I am <laughs> the book was good it wasn't extraordinary but it was good the writing is okay and I it I wasn't expecting the ending really and it kind of hit home a little bit so I was bawling <laughs> It, and then I put the phone, the phone, I put the um, laptop down and tried to lay there to go to sleep. And it was like two in the morning and I was still upset about it. So then my child came in and was when uh, he won't like come up with us at all usually if in bed so he came in and he got up on the bottom of the bed he won't go further than that if uh, we're both there and he was purring for me and letting me know like you know hang out with me for a bit mama I'll cheer you up yeah so anyways it's a good book I, I recommend it I'd probably give it three and a half stars if I could, but I gave it four. Um, next one was The Dry Grass of August um, and by Anna Jean Mayhew. And this one here reminded me a lot of, uh, 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 my, reminded me a lot of um, To Kill a, a Mockingbird. It is um, a, a, a young girl that's coming of age and she's trying to figure out um she's trying to understand the um uh what's it called oh my goodness segregation uh she's living in the south and in the 50s and she's trying to understand this i think that's what i took from it and yeah so um, the next one I'm doing is The Undertaker's Assistant, which is by Amanda Sk Skinandor. <laughs> I will put that below. Um, and yeah, this one here is what I gather so far is there was a lady that was um, taking during the Civil War and she was uh, she was um, African American and she was taken up north where she was trained by this doctor to do um, like to prepare the dead and then she decided she wanted to come back to her roots and and stuff like that so she came down she got a job with a gentleman and it is about that. And I think she may be falling in love. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not to that point yet. Um, still reading Scott's uh, Last Expedition. It is a long one. Um, 
and I'm not reading it. I wasn't reading it consistently because it was really boring at first. But um, I knew there was going to be a good part coming, so it's in the good part now, so it's leading me along. I still haven't finished As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow by uh, Zulfa Kato. I, I don't know. I'll put that below, too. Um, and this is about um, a girl that is living in Syria during the war. Um, and having to navigate being thrown into a doctor role that she is not trained for. She's a pharmacist, but she's been thrown into that role. She's hope, I think she's falling in love and she's got her sister-in-law and they're trying to figure out their way through this and it's a very heavy book I find I need to take breaks with it because it's just sad really most of it's sad <laughs> to me anyways but it's very well written um, I probably would give it about I'd say four stars for sure um, the Undertaker one I'd probably be around three and a half so far so unless they surprise me but yeah. Otherwise, I have been working on Christmas stuff. That's all I've been doing lately. Just, and I'm not even doing it for anything. Well, I'm doing some things for, for particular things, but anyways, I made a few, um, a few, um, Memdex cards. So this is the first one. And what I do, I don't have a punch, so what I do is I have a template. You can get them, you can get the measurements on on Google. And I just do a hole where it tells me, and then it's, um, I just cut down. And it fits the same as, as the Memdex. So, anyways, this is actually um, an album set that I have. So what I do is I just cover where the album is uh, holes are, and then um, yeah, it comes out like that. And then I put my information back there. So this is actually one of the um, little wax things that I did for um, I think it was one day saving, and I just put a little sticker inside and yeah I thought it came out cute and then this one this one and in the back of these I just put coordinating things and then this one so yeah I thought they came out really cute um, another thing I've been working on is a um, uh, birthday card, but I won't uh, show that. And it was just one of those like showstopper ones kind of thing where they're big and beautiful. And, and then today I have been working on this little thing. I got this from Strawberries. I don't, oh, I never remember her channel name. So what I'll do, I'll just put the link to this um, below. I did not do it the same as her, though. I had six by six papers I wanted to use. So I modified what she did. But it is inspired by the tutorial I'll put below. And just a couple of that. And then this comes out. And there's a pocket in here. I haven't put anything in it yet. I forgot, actually. There's a pocket right there you can put things in. And then there's this one. And then this one. Close this. So, yeah, I just put a little bit of stuff on there, so it's fun. 
And yeah, I am uh, happy with that. I just, I don't know why I wanted to make it today, but I was just looking, I guess, for, um, I was looking for a project that was going to be um, fun and easy, I guess. And I'm wanting to use up a lot of my papers. Next, I think I'm going to be working on uh, making my own paper because I'm I'm wanting to. Um, what was it? I'm wanting to get some scraps taken care of and things like that. So that's going to be my main focus for the next little while, and um, and then try to use up that paper. And when I do, I will allow myself to buy some more Christmas paper. But I'm not allowing myself to do it. So I'm trying to do projects where I can where I can use up my stuff because I have way too much Christmas stuff. Um, I've done other projects too, but it's all in Happy Mail. I've been just... You know, that's my, my, I don't know why I'm in the mood to do Christmas crafting so bad, but I know that Christmas is coming. I'm, I know that, but I don't know why I'm like, usually I have to really push myself to get in the mood, but, um, I'm in the mood this year. So I am making, um, Che and Mario are great. And uh, I am going to do, there's a new to me, um, a new to me uh, 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 collab that I want to try. I think Patty, uh, Life with Patty does it. I've got a few things that are new to me. And I also want to, um, yeah, do something with Che. So we'll do that as well. And... What else? There's not a lot going on, really. Um, I'm shopping for Christmas. Not shopping a lot. We pretty much give to friends and family, uh, friends and my parents. Um, and um, Anna is still young enough that she'll get another gift this year. The older ones, I I cut off around when they're 16. So, um, yeah there's just a lot <laughs> my sister has four children so and then they have children and yeah it's you just gotta draw the line sometimes and yeah so Anna's getting up there but she's not there yet so she will be getting um, Christmas presents and likely she will be doing her usual where she's told to go and spend X amount of dollars and that would be it. And then um, I purchased a couple of things for friends and I'm still purchasing things for friends because they're awesome, my friends. And I'm making stuff for them and uh, yeah, I, I don't have a, a lot going on. I just wasted like 15 minutes blabbering. Um, yeah, so we'll do, I've got some interesting things, uh, my mother brought me, and, um, there, one of them's her, um, a very, very old dictionary, so I want to kind of show it, because it's new to me, and yeah, anyways, you guys, I'm going to let you go with that, and thank you for stopping by. Thank you again for hosting T. Joe Creates, and I will catch you guys later.